What's up, guys? This is the Rifleman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire to All. Let's play as the Kingdom of Mysore. And in this episode, we've got actually a bit of a spicy battle on our hands because uh, we're being attacked, and some of our garrison units are a bit weak. So let's scoot some of these fellas around. Let's make sure the generals at the back are not really bothered about having um, generals up front. Expect to be everything except for artillery and bowmen for you. And can get all the artillery right at the back. Interesting, you've got two general's bodyguards in your army, that's not deliberate. Something more like that will do. So we've got a couple of pretty a bunch of pretty weak units who will probably um, be spent against the enemy quite quickly. We're gonna have our our bugged cavalry units will march forward to engage the enemy as uh, <laughs> to do as much damage as possible but apart from that it's going to be um a bit dicey but nothing we can't handle we should have defenses we should be able to place defenses so the any any breaches we do have plus any they generate we can kind of preempt with stakes so they may have lots of cavalry but we can deal with um, we can deal with there being lots of cavalry on the field so you can block off the breaches with stakes and spikes and such but before we can crack on so our native our African light infantry they are ripe for being deployed and then sent forward because the sooner they break and run the sooner we can get reinforcements the, Af the Cairo guards are a bit different because they're sturdier infantry so 160 of those combined if we treat them as one unit it's not bad okay so they're coming from over here okay so let's take my entire army there's nowhere easy to dump them so if they're coming from over there this breach is of vulnerability so let's just form our blocks this bugged unit can hold this unit yeah there's the other one this unit can form up and hold just to show the other breach this heavy cavalry this cavalry detachment is going to be pushed forward that's for darn sure they can do a lot of good this, these are the mount elements can hold so if we're infantry ideally you want two sets of stakes per breach if you do them like this i found weirdly they they seem to be able to jump over it so you have to kind of give them some space to actually jump into. So let's make sure our artillery is all fire it will off. Okay, then let's assume they may try and make a breach through here. Block that off. But if that's where the bulk of the enemy is coming from, that is where we need our the bulk of our infantry, really, to respond. You men hold that gate, and you men hold that gate. Good. Okay. My general's bodyguard just hold in the center. I suppose the light infantry, they can also place stakes. Okay, so we can see where some of the enemy reinforcements are coming in from. It looks like they do want to. Ooh, they've got quick line. That's not super great. Let's push my cavalry up. Got some Vibjorni Strozzi. 
I mean, unsurprisingly, there's a limit to how many you guys can place, so let's get you guys out of the fort. It's starting to make their breach, so let's get our gunners over there. We're not going to go after that unit specifically. We're going to keep advancing. question is, are they aiming for the unit or are they aiming for the wall? It's usually it's an important one to get right. I might actually gather my Royal Car Infantry Guards back here. And give these guys their orders just to keep blasting the breaches with canister shot. So I want to go after their artillery. No. Okay, right. I'm going to pull you guys back. Is that a bad quick climb round to kill all of them? Push my cavalry up the flank. They've massed all their cavalry together. Do you men hold? Do you men push up behind them. So they're gonna get they're getting these guys are getting ready to charge. Run the cavalry. They're starting to push around the flanks. You men are limber. Cease fire. Barrel the native lances in and barrel the sapahi against their cavalry. You guys try to scale the walls, we should be okay. move you guys over a little bit. Nope, they've abandoned this charge, so let's bring my light infantry up. Okay, so now it's going to be up to my Hipahi. Can they carve enough of a pathway through all this infantry? Or if not, can they give me enough wiggle room to get my light infantry up there. Oh, my lances are wave rings, they've been, they've been shot at. Excellent. Barrel my sapati in. They're responding to our cavalry running riot. Human engaged general's bodyguard. Let these men engage the enemy general's bodyguard. If they could take them out, that would be ideal. Human engage the infantry. Go on, light infantry. So they managed to kill. One general staff member. I mean, I got, I've only lost five Sipahi right now. The militia coming in isn't ideal. I may have killed their general, but that's a unit of light infantry routing. Cossacks are losing decisively. Fortunately, the light infantry are choosing to run an odd direction. You men engage the irregulars. Why are the light infantry is holding? Yes, you men flee rapidly. Allow us to bring more men into the fight. This will be quite good. 
him with Spah, you're going to break out. They can get to the enemy guns. My native lances will have to hold. I particularly want the howitzers. Excellent. Let's jump, throw you guys into the fight against the regiment as well. We're wavering, so we've probably been shot at. Fortunately, a bunch of their units have also routed. Here comes another general's bodyguard. And this lance unit's done a spectacular job. They're very experienced, but I'm afraid. I believe we've killed the general here, so I'm not overly worried about you. So we need two more units. You guys are okay where you are. This unit will break eventually. So you men charge the Dragoons. Yeah, now they're going down. The melee infantry finally mitted. But you men smack the Dragoons. Another general's bodyguard unit. Bill, you men did a valiant job, and as cavalry, you will rout quickly. And you bought me a lot of time. Here come the reinforcements. So it looks like we've got some more cavalry coming in. So some of the cavalry are charging in. I'm not sure where they're going to... must be chasing after my lancers. There you go after this unit of Dragoons. There you go, unit of Sipahi. Let's push them up. We're going to spend a lot of cavalry um, against the, their forces. This is, it's because you've got this massively bugged unit of Sapahi. They should never have this many. That's an incredibly difficult unit for the enemy to take down. You're going to fire a volley into the combat, I would imagine. Okay, some enemy cavalry are now going to push their way into the fort. They have the smell of blood in their nostrils and they are ready to do battle. right into where we want them to charge. Come on, work it out. There we go. <laughs> Sapahi is still going. I want to try and get them out. Because I don't want them to get bogged down against melee infantry. If we can get them over here, they can meet up with this other unit of Sapahi and bolster their numbers. Cavalry is not going to be able to ch charge us down as much as they'd like. Okay, they're bringing up some weaker, weaker numbers. They're firing at us. Keep running because we're bringing. You guys are tired, so are they. I just want to open up the gap away from their infantry. So you may go after the 58th, you may go after the 86th. How at them? They've lost almost half their number. Okay, send men to cover the gate again. Now 
Skeleton Musketeers. Push them up. You go after them. You go after 58. So bringing in some elephants. A unit of infantry that's going to slowly make their way up. We're doing a lot of good damage to their army without even having to worry about defending the walls. Can you even have to get out onto the edge? You can begin loading these cannons and firing. There we go. Let's pull back. Our elephants are on the way, because they'll help us smash through this infantry block. courage to go through the gate. Don't think the Hindu Musketeer is going to get get here in time to be involved in this. We're going to smash straight into them. They do want to chase us. Okay, now you're engaging the 51st. Send the elephants in first. You got the 35th. You men get ready to bolster the charge against the 92nd. As the elephants get in. Charge! They're wavering right off the bat. Heavy cavalry have smashed them. We lost some we lost one elephant. a lot of their men. Comes the general's bodyguard trying to bolster the line. It's not going to work. Charge on into the 34th. You can go after the general's bodyguard. Our general's trying to route. Trying to run. I think even the general himself. Oh, there he is. Push back. Group my. Group my Sapahi, get my elephants off to one side. I don't care if you charge. I may even bring my, my other mounted elements out here because this is working quite well. Okay, my. my Hindu musketeers just load and fire it into the general at your, in your own time. Let my cavalry recover. Oh, when these guys reload. Kill the general. Must not be allowed to leave. Got him. Um, I well, that might have been that one. Yeah, it was. This chap's going to. I know he's already lost. They've already lost their general. It must have been this guy, Kozlov. A little bit of a, a um, little bit of a bunker back there. Get 
take these kids are actually push up to here. You fancy it, fancy your chances. You men get over here because you've got a You got some blunt a blunderbuss guy. He's plowed up nope. He plowed up, saw all the bodies and went, no thank you. Not for me. Smash the militia. Get these gunners to cease fire. You're going to push up and fire a volley into their back. Carbine ready. They didn't like that one bit. Smash him. You guys reload. Kill enough of the mercenaries so that they shatter, please. Don't pull back from the Grenadier Guards. These guys will be needed. Well, they're, they're routing anyway. Rout, rout, charge, charge, charge. Get my heavy cavalry to smash the militia. Get you men to his light cavalry to push forward and attack the Grenadier Guards. They've deployed stakes. They're so afraid of my mounted element. Go get him, light cavalry. Keep killing them till they shatter. Draw. anyone else out. Go on, heavy cavalry. Smash him. Kill them all. Kill them. May slowly begin to push against this enemy formation. Dragoons have dismounted, they've got guns upon the hill. Oh, yeah, they are concerned. Push up to the stakes, everyone else. Get to the edge. Different levels of readiness. If we engage the mercenaries off the bat, that's fine. Good, 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 good. They even attack the shotgunners. Even attack the mercenaries. Good amount of kills on the charge. 
sure all my skirmish cavalry is fire at will on. And advances against the militia block. So they do want to have a look at my this combat that's ongoing. should be able to fire now into the militia. Excellent. Okay, let's commit the cavalry. We've got to be wary of the stakes but we can't let them dictate what we do. So when the cav these camels can charge they just can't go back on themselves. Some of them inevitably will. Strelzy, and then push through. Elephants mass them against their infantry. Even are ganging up on the cavalry. We've got dragoons on foot coming in. The elephant musketeers will bash through these these, these infantry mercenaries. Killing the dragoons till they shatter. There you men go against those dragoons. So you're only able to hit one flank of that enemy attack. They form square, but that's probably not going to be enough to stop us. will eventually bash your way through the square. We're beginning to overextend ourselves somewhat. Still no elephants killed here. Let me fire it on just so they are allowed to shoot if things are suitable. My plan was these they break the formation and then these guys can move in to support. Like now. Good, 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 good. I mean, my camels aren't really doing enough. So let's charge the mercenaries through. There we go, now they can get into the actual combat. Yeah, that was their best shot of ganging up on one of the units. Try to hit the mercenaries, let me get the musketeers to form up. Get the cavalry out of there. Get them to hit the mercenaries on the way out, just to try and free up the camels. Load your guns. Okay, actually, I'm gonna send you guys back. You know what? You guys fight for the death. Charge! The militia will fall quickly. Tucking men back by the handful. 
you're engaging in other dragoons. Just keep pushing. We've got plenty of troops to reinforce. Charge the militia specifically. Right, elephants, camels, you won't like that. Nice work. Just broken for now. Their dragoons, well, they're looking fantastic, are being headed off by a hey, camel charge. These mounted units, man. Hey, bad guys. Let's see if they try to go through one of the breaches. That would be ideal. And you men charge on to the charge on into the dragoons. Keep going until you're spent. Then we will call out fresh troops. These guys. I want to see if they. Just try to run in, because I've not got a whole lot of guys here, but whose stakes will kill them. Completely and utterly. So my cavalry to go after one unit, and my elephant musketeers to go after the eleventh. looks like they aren't going after my heavy cavalry. They do want to attack someone inside the fort, so you're more than welcome to do it, but uh, this is going to be beautiful. Oh, how quaint. That's right, keep on coming. There we go, my units are starting to break. But that is completely fine. Because what we found actually is the enemy doesn't actually want to attack us anymore. Okay, there we go. Let's bring our keep our heavy cavalry back and let's see if the Russians are going to actually push forward the attack. Or if they are going to elect standoff. Because you guys are going to get off the wall, because you're just being picked off. Where's my... Push my heavy cavalry forward, because a couple of enemy elements are determined to push. So now we might want to start building up our defensive strength. We're getting infantry in, we're getting some good cavalry in. But let's get this infantry into the fort. run in the cavalry mass together they haven't yet finished their desire to, <laughs> to keep bashing their heads against my heavy cavalry forces Okay, I'll 
artillery ceasefire. Actually, you guys, no, you guys stand off. Let's see if they're going to try and assault the wall. Well, let's see if they're going to try and push the breach before we push out. Because if we, if they go for the breach, this will be quite an easy way to get some good kills. Either way, my reinforcements are getting here on mass. So you men also bolster this breach. New men get inside the command HQ. I think they're shooting at the dragoons still, chiefly, even though there's militia right there. Okay, let's speed speed time forward, because if they're just gonna Okay, it looks like they are going to Ooh, oops, come on, slow down. So they're charging the tip, which is not a problem in of itself. Um, but what it does tend to lead to is big frame rate drops. So I want my Royal Cairo Infantry Guard inside the armory because that's generally where the infantry will try and push to. Oh no, you can't both go there apparently, so you're going to take the lonely position and stand here. Oh good, that's what I say. hopefully that's not us losing a building. you guys just to push in through this breach. I mean, let's just let them do... Well, so they, they want to go after this unit up on the wall. All of them. And they're, they're, the logic is causing it all to churg. You want to keep blasting the area with canister shot. When they route, this should clean up quite nicely. See, they've nearly made two breaches, but they appear to not want to actually act on it. There we go. See? It's all about when they mass around this point. going to try and do anything. That's the command HQ. Yeah. Simonevsky foot guard. I don't know what you're going to try and do. Please tell me you're going to try and storm right up the gate. Right, right where my guys are actually garrisoning. I mean, you are. You're gonna take some casualties trying to push through. A couple of losses, but nothing critical. Here come the militia again. Yeah, see, they've done the exact same thing. And as a result, so weird. They want to charge them, but for some reason they mass here, then they work out they can actually snake through here and up here, but it just takes a bit of time. Or I can just smash him with my armoured lance cavalry. 
artillery, 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 Cossacks, horse, grenadiers. Shot down a poor fellow back there. But I hope this charge is enough to get them to realise that sticking around is quite a bad idea and it's not going to work. There we go. So they've stopped charging them. They're now attacking my cavalry. Now they can bear witness to my slaughter. Although they've not lost a huge amount. They're being fired upon in the back, that's not going to help. But once we knock one out, they should become a lot more amenable. There we go. Push there. I want you to shatter them. Starting to regroup. Shatter them. Let's destroy the 25th Regiment of the Line Infantry. They don't appear to be bothered yet. And they are now. breaches, they don't own any gates. Ah, the foot guards have tried to scale the wall. Let's get these Israeli up here as well. Same as this Kizobashi unit. You men man the gate. Excellent, let's push towards your gunnery position. <laughs> Horse grenadiers have dismounted. These guys are all cavalry though, so let's just run my heavy cavalry forward. There's their Cossacks. They destroy this bastion at the edge, but it doesn't help them in. guys need to push around the right push over here before you go in otherwise all the horses will bog you down and the Cossacks will have yeah they're shooting at us if we can get into the combat we're not going to really care Swing in. Ooh, we're not seeing any reinforcements come in. What are you doing, Cossacks? What are you doing? You're letting us kill all your artillery, that's what you're letting us do. Okay, now they've twigged. Throw these men into action against the enemy line infantry. You men cover the gate. Actually, one unit engage the Cossacks, another unit. Just make sure you get the artillery. So many cavalrymen around. Cossacks with your brothers. 
yeah, they're all suddenly going, oh no, Jesus. The human form up. No, don't go anywhere. You men are effectively queuing for this engagement. Is this Aurelia holding the line? Is Obashi going to follow them? Are the heavy cavalry going to engage their cavalry? But they may or may not lose. You men mass here. You men get on the wall. Got to remember, Russian infantry isn't actually bad in the melee. It's part of the reason why I would not mind if my cavalry back here did not return. Even might even run one of my pyro, Royal Cairo Infantry Guard units. Actually, don't run them out. I'll just run them up. Get involved in the fight for the wall. Let's bring my general over. Also charge the 47th. So they are gaining a foothold. It appears they want to support it. How's my cab doing? Killed 40 Cossacks, 20 Regiment of Horse, 3 Bibioni Streltsy. Not bad. You've done good work now. Still pouring in. So let's get everyone formed up. You are very gutsy trying to push up here. they do make a bridge. My general doesn't die against these because they're mine. See, he just climbs right on over them. Good, good, good. That, or that was this armory being this house being taken, wasn't it? It was. Okay, so we've got some more reinforcements coming in. We've got a unit of Gurkhas, which is very valuable. Another unit of cavalry. And the enemy has 11 minutes to take the fort. You better start pushing, and you better start pushing soon. See, it's another unit that's trying to... See, they're squeezing through. Just keep blasting them. Fire on the firing line. You men charge the militia. In theory, I think if I didn't charge, they might have just left. But I don't actually mind. You men cease fire. Oh, 
part of a necessary churn to get more troops. Because when if these militiamen are out, or if any of these units are out, then the Royal African African Infantry Guards will push in and take their place. Even fire will off, then back on again. Man the fire step, engage the 96th. Okay, get my Kizobashi to run away. I didn't anticipate 63rd to come back, at least. I want them to run away. I did fire a volley, you can see the smoke. But run away, just so you can get her back in and actually charge. These men are very gutsy. They think they're going to try and take this section of the wall. If they do, I'll destroy it with my own foot artillery because there's only 94% of it left. No. Only it is 94% destroyed. Not that there's 94% of it left. Pick on the Gurkhas, Premier Melee Troops. If you wish to make a go of it, you are welcome. So these are light cavalry. So they've lost a good number of their men going after the 63rd, so they might actually pull back. Hold up some distance, reload your muskets, reload your carbines rather. Okay, let's get the Gurkhas up on the wall. It looks like they're going to try scale the wall again. Here they come. Men get ready. And this is why you want Gurkhas up here, because Gurkhas don't give a darn. They don't care who you are, because they're going to get you. So the line infantry are wavering. The light infantry they've got. Is still charging. New men reloaded. Ready aim fire. Okay, I think they are not particularly bullish on their chances of making a breakthrough. There goes the light. There goes the militia. So a line infantry backed up by light infantry. Still getting shots off on this section of the wall, so you need to keep an eye on that. Looks like they are showing more determination to push through and attack the breach, the gate here. So let's maybe move this infantry guard unit somewhere like here. Okay, one of our units is wavering. Push this other unit in. Your ammunition is very low, but you've only got five minutes left, so we've almost spent this entire episode trying to fight this battle. But I think the exchange ratio is fairly beneficial. The light infantry are very upset at what's been going on. Ok, 
keep killing the line infantry that's pushing up. I mean, you might just peel this cavalry back in general. I don't mind if they go for the gate. That's fine. We know they'll try and attack the armory. And that's what we are waiting for. Have at you. going to reinforce your failure. Move the Gurkhas up. Here come the garrison guards. Oh, they're not going to... I hope they are going to come through. They've been engaged from the armory. I suspect they will try and charge the armory because that's usually what the AI elects to do. Lucky you avoided that canister shot. On that one. Volleys and thrashing home. Ideally, we'd have more than one line of infantry unit covering this section, but do what you can. There we go. Pushing to take the armory. They will fight for that. Care to add some extra muscle into this engagement? Shaking because they're losing slightly. It's hardly a madhouse in there. They're all just kind of standing around. 56, 54. We're winning, but we don't have the numbers. Move those men into the armory as well. They have, they have no ammunition. Adding an additional militia unit to this engagement on the wall. Bring up the Gurkhas. Concerned because of the casualties sustained. The Gurkhas don't care though. Guns can cease fire. The infantry can cease fire while the Israeli cross the ground and get inside. Two minutes to go. Okay, they've made it to the top floor. No, not you. You men should defend this yourselves anyway. Here come the Israeli. Attack them while they try and climb the ladder. Yeah, it sure looks like the... Uh, sure looks like the Russians are going to fail to secure the fortress. Got a unit of horse grenadier guards ready to get involved. But one minute and 24 seconds remaining. We have another unit of infantry entering the field. Because our eight strong unit of infantry fought to the death. Just as you will fight to the death against the militia. There will be no dawn for men. Okay, get these Islamic swordsmen up here. Let's 
suppose, strictly speaking, my cavalry could be used to uh, snipe their artillery, but it seems like they're quick climbing way short, so they're actually ineffective. So why would I kill them and then risk them bringing in an effective unit when I could just leave them to it? There's a bit of rough and tumble inside. How am I used to really do? Not very well, it looks like. 105 guardsmen against 146 effectively Mysorian infantry. However, we've only got 30 seconds to go. Yeah, they're doubling down on the push. Sending up horse grenade guardsmen. If they quick line, you guys would be so screwed. You're lucky we don't. You're lucky our lucky mortars are so unpredictable. You can't really use them. The militia is still eager. There we go. We've held the fort. At what cost? You may say, at all costs. But victory is ours. <laughs> Took the entire episode to defend one fort with heavy casualties, including our bugged cavalry units, but I think it was worth doing. They bought us time. Critical commodity, which we cannot get back. That's true of life as well. Right. Let's see how they respond to what we just did. Ooh. Going to amphibious the assault somewhere. Where are you going to pick? Norway? Are you going to deposit your troops? Have you landed? They might not have landed. Depends on the movement they had left. They so there's a chance they haven't landed on Norway. Which itself isn't a massive problem. It's just being aware of it. All of their depleted units are... Uh, they're all combining. It's probably rationalising their numbers down a bit because they've <laughs> they've got an entire army of weaklings. Yeah, they're starting to garrison Stockholm. Uh, no, let's pull you back. Lots of movement. Okay, they've concentrated around Sophia. That's good. Yeah, Louisiana is still a risk to us, but not concerned. The armies they can generate in their colonial areas, especially out of a territory like that, are really bad. There goes the... Ah, so they did land. They did land indeed. Dagestan's not letting themselves fall. So, where's one of my good navies? I've got one in the... might have a couple in the Baltic. I could probably spare one. Deploy one. I need to deploy one north of Norway to block off Russia's access to the Atlantic. Workers on strike in Norway, but you've chilled out. So you men sit here, you men just wipe out that last remaining fourth rate. So they have nowhere to go. And then you guys sit right up here. I should be raiding it anyway, it's worth 12,000 a turn to the enemy army. Really, I should raid Severomorsk first. I should, just, I should just sit in there. Force them to come and stop me. They have no other ports. So, a new town emerges in Cherokee territory. Let's get a craft workshop. And let's keep upgrading. 
mainly focusing on top tier buildings, but that's a lot of top tier madrasas. Good. I suppose technically New Orleans is at risk, so let's maybe move one army back. So you guys can build a craft workshop. You might have nine spaces for infantry. Four, one, two, three, four, five. Good. Trade raided. Workers riot in Georgia. So one of you go for Cherkask, one of you go for the river crossing. Two of you get ready to head east. Your army is nearly done. You need a general's bodyguard. There's five things being recruited. Let's get a unit of Feline. And you guys will be ready to go for Crimea. I mean, you guys keep recruiting just because we need something just to attack Greece when the time comes. So, firstly, you men withdraw from Warsaw, replenish. You're the fullest, so you men get in. You need... Two units of regular infantry. And you need two units of heavy cavalry. Two units of heavy cavalry plus a mixture of infantry and melee infantry. So let's get. Two heavy cavalry and all of them in a melee infantry will take a long time to get here. So you are going to be just... Even the Serrati will take a long time to get here. Because Obashi it is. Okay, so let's put one unit... Just to siege the Star Fort here. Not to fight them, just to siege them. You can't actually reach. You men push to here. You men push up as well. You guys can leave Prussia. Then Prussia can just start mass recruiting infantry. Oh, you can do it. So if you men attack this Russian unit here. That'll wipe out this force. Plus, we can destroy these forces, and then begin to splinter off north to Yelgava, east to Vilnius, and south to provide a bit of cover for Warsaw. But looking at the timer, we'd, we've definitely um, overran this episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continued adventures of Mysore. Cheers, everyone. Mm -hmm.